Welcome back everyone. In this video, we're gonna run through the standard versus reverse flow smoker setup. So to get started, we'll run through the standard flow setup. So typically you'll have your fire running in your firebox and your fire will run through your firebox into your cooking chamber, through and over whatever you're cooking on this cooking grate. Then your heat and smoke will run through this chimney stack and up out the top here. So one downside to the standard setup is you tend to cop a lot of direct heat from your fire around this part of the cooking grate. So if I'm smoking a big brisket or a pork butt, I'll tend to position it more towards the middle or the chimney end. One way to get around that problem is to have your fire running on the very right side of your firebox, and that way there'll be less direct heat getting to whatever you're cooking in your cooking chamber. Another option is to put in one of your tuning plates on the firebox end. Just like so, and that really helps to stop a bit of that direct heat getting to whatever you're cooking as well. So we'll take that plate back out. And now we'll switch over to the reverse flow setup. So as you'll see, we've got a blocking plate here so no smoke can escape through that hole. We're actually gonna swap our chimney over to that one and we'll put that blocking plate where our chimney is. So we'll get started by doing that. So we'll just remove this. And then this plate will slide out. Then we'll take our chimney out. Now make sure you're holding your chimney with your other hand just so it doesn't fall over. And then that just slides out. Then we'll put our blocking plate in this side. Then we'll put our chimney where our blocking plate was. And now we can take our cooking grates out and we'll put all of our tuning plates in. So I'll leave the cooking grates off just so we can have a look at this a bit better. But as you can see, that's created a barrier from the heat and smoke. Now what's gonna happen is all of that heat and smoke is gonna travel underneath these diffuser plates. A little bit of smoke and heat's gonna come up through these holes, but the majority of it is gonna come up this end, it'll shoot up through here, and then back over whatever you're cooking and out through our exhaust here. So the hottest part of your smoker is gonna be right up this end now. It's not gonna be as intense as what it would be without the diffuser plates near the firebox. So over your whole cooking grate surface, you're gonna get a much more even temperature. So what I'll quickly do now is put the cooking grates back in. And that's what your reverse flow setup's gonna look like. And because there's still holes in these tuning plates, you still wanna be using either our foil or foil trays to catch any drippings underneath. So that pretty much covers off the reverse flow setup. So we'll shut our lid and we'll have a quick look at the setup from the outside. So as you can see, we've got our blocking plate over here and our chimney is here. So I've ran a few other reverse flow offset smokers in the past. I've only ran this one in reverse flow once before. And what I found is by having all of them tuning plates in there, you really start to restrict the airflow going through your cooking chamber. When you're running the standard flow setup, you've got a good amount of airflow going straight from your firebox through your cooking chamber and out through your chimney stack because there's nothing really restricting it in between. So if you are running in reverse flow setup, make sure you've got a clean burning and efficient fire going in your firebox. I usually find I've got to have my side firebox door a bit more open on the vent or I might even have to open the door up a little bit completely just so there's a bit more oxygen in there to produce a clean burning fire going through and underneath those diffuser plates and out your chimney stack. But I will try and do some videos where we're using this in the reverse flow setup, so stay tuned for those videos. But for now, that's the end of this video, so thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below, and we'll see you next time.